everybody and welcome to this video where um, I get to be a damsel in distress and I'm very excited about this because I haven't got to um, wear my big pretty princess dress in a long time. So um, this is just kind of a funny little thing and I was actually going to do like a full on like video about this but it's just it's funny so I'm just going to do this. Um, <clears throat> as you know. I was on the Slee Ricketts podcast where I talked about my philosophy behind poetry and art and all this other stuff. And um, again, um, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but on Wednesday of this week, November 2nd, I guess, um, the first interview that on the I Hate Matt Wall Poetry podcast with Matthew Buckley Smith will be up. But... Um, Anyway, so a bunch of people wrote in and had some strong things to say about me. And um, if you subscribe to the Slee Rickett Se Secret Show on Substack, you can hear this shit. But it was so fucking funny because um, the second episode was on the Secret Show. And then he posted another episode where the first half of that episode was him kind of um, talking about what people were saying about me. And he fucking wrote me and he's like, dude, like people have said a lot of things. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And when he, when he sent it to me, it was like either that night or the next day. I'm like, really? So soon? Everyone's already pissed off. But he said that um, the consensus was... Um, People either agreed with me to an extent, or they thought I was macho, which makes me want to snap into a Slim Jim, um, which is fucking hysterical. Um, I can't believe, like, in the poetry world, sounding macho is an insult. I'm like, tell me more. <laughs> And um, I'm either arrogant, what was the other thing? Was that it? Or um, completely stupid. And um, Matt, when he was reading this, when Matthew was reading this, he's like, well, I mean, I don't think Matt is stupid. <laughs> Oh, so fucking good, dude. I was fucking dying. I was like, oh my God, defend my honor, Buckley. Defend it. Defend me. Oh, that was fucking classic. I, that was just, oh. I, I, I lost it. I lost it. But the thing is, a lot of the things that they said, like the people who wrote in and the stuff he was reading, like the things that they were like, well, if blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, nope, like I could get that too. Like I could bang that out of the park. That's not true. That's not true. Like whatever. So um, it is what it is. And again, this is all opinions and nobody fucking hates each other. We're just, we have our own views on stuff and that's perfectly fine. And that that's what makes fun conversation. If everyone just agreed with everybody all the time, life would be boring as shit. But the thing that really fucking pissed everybody off, I think... Considering most people only heard the first part of the episode because not everyone who listens to Slee Ricketts um, is subscribed to The Secret Show. Um, in that first episode, I say um, form is plagiarism. And that pissed a lot of people off. And honestly, like, there's a part of me that wanted to just say that to piss people off. But, like, I, I agree with it to an extent. Like... It is like it is something that people emulate. It's something that people copy. Um, so call it whatever the fuck you want, but it's pretty much plagiarism at that point. Um, but when I say it like that, I'm just saying that to get a rise out of motherfuckers, dude. Come on. Um, but that's fucking hysterical. And then, uh, but one guy had a, like, he was really annoyed with me. And I think he even called me um, insufferable until he heard the second episode that was on The Secret Show. And he's like, oh, shit, well, fuck. 
Like, he came off a lot better on the second episode. Dude, I never come off good at first, okay? People always think I'm too rare um, right off the bat. But then after that, everyone finds me charming and adorable and wants to just snuggle up to me. So it's fine, bro. Like, it's okay. I'm still in my pink princess dress. Bucks is still defending my honor and slaying fucking dragons. And I'm just like my hero. And then, like, he does all of this, and then he runs up to me, and I say, I'm sorry, Bucks, but the princess is in another castle. <laughs> oh, shit. So, anyway, good times. Um, I still had fun, and I hope you guys enjoy the, um, the two interview podcasts I have with Matthew Buckley-Smith coming out um, on Wednesday and Saturday. So, um, until then, everybody... Uh, keep buying my books, Last Chance for Gas, out now on my Etsy shop, as well as many, many other books and chat books. Type hard, everybody, um, and be the thing that makes people go, that guy's an asshole. And I'll talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.